Hey guys, today we are diving into the world of 3D scanning with CR Scan Ferret, an affordable, high resolution 3D scanner that packs quite a punch despite its compact size. First up, you can see we have this portable bag. It's a really nice grey fabric and it's of high quality. You can definitely feel that it's designed to keep your 3D scanner protected on your travels. That's the manual. And here is the star of the show, the CR Ferret scanner itself. And this is the mobile phone clip that you can screw on to the handle. Next we have the rechargeable handle. There is a tripod at the bottom of the handle that you can deploy and place the tripod on the flat surface. Finally we have two USB cables. One is for connecting the scanner to your computer and the other one is for your smartphone and rechargeable handle. These ensure that your equipment is always powered and ready to go. First let's take a look at the scanner itself. It's just 105 grams and its dimensions are 120 by 30 by 26 millimeters and as you can see it's quite portable and you can carry it with you wherever you go and whenever you need to scan. In terms of accuracy the CR scan ferret is no slouch providing a precision of up to 0.1 millimeters. The scan speed is also worth noting achieving a frame rate of up to 30 fps. Right now you can get this scanner for around 349 bucks. The CR Scan Ferret is compatible with various operating systems, including Android, Windows and macOS, making it a versatile and adaptive tool. With USB 3.0 and 2.0 compatibility, the connection process is remarkably simple and hassle-free. Keep in mind, however, that to get the best scanning performance, it's recommended to use a USB 3.0 port. Furthermore, its light source is NIR, which can offer superior results compared to other types of light sources. NIR technology is independent of ambient light. In many situations, ambient light can interfere with the accuracy of a 3D scan by creating shadows, reflections and other distortions. The scanner also offers different alignment options, including feature, marker and color. Moving on to the results that I've achieved using the CR Scan Ferret. Let's take a look at some of the objects I've successfully scanned. First up is a tree stump, an object with a complex array of textures and surfaces, and next a brick with its distinct rugged surface. Each of these items provide a unique challenge for 3D scanning, yet the ferret perform great. After capturing the raw data, I then imported the scans into Blender, a powerful open source 3D creation software. In Blender's edit mode, I was able to clean up the mesh using Blender's robust toolkit. I removed any unwanted geometry, further refining the 3D models until they were just right. The final results were highly detailed and accurate representations of the original object, demonstrating the CR scan ferret's impressive scanning capabilities. Color textures were automatically applied, thanks to the way the software exposed the models. I will include the time-lapse video of the whole process of the creation of both models at the end of the video. Ferret also comes with Creality's special scan app. It supports outdoor scanning, even in bright sunlight. And the visual tracking mode makes it a breeze to scan large or more complex objects. However, I must admit that I have yet to test this outdoor scanning feature myself. From my indoor scanning experience, it's important to note that I had to use two light sources to ensure even flat lighting. This helps to avoid harsh shadows or dark spots, which can potentially lead to inaccurate scanning results.
upon launching the software, you will be welcomed by a concise user guide detailing best practices for scanning alongside a list of objects that aren't ideally suited for scanning. Additionally, it provides troubleshooting Additionally, it provides troubleshooting advice for common issues you may come across and guidance on selecting the most suitable scanning settings. The app comes with various scanning modes. The texture mode is particularly useful for objects with rich textures and detailed color patterns, although less effective on monochrome or repetitive textures. It's ideal for items such as wood texture, tables or intricately patterned fabrics. However, if you are dealing with reflective, translucent or easily deformable objects, special preparation may be needed for successfully scanning them. For example, by using a special spray that you can coat the object that you're scanning in the tracking loss during scanning, simply reposition the scanner to the previously scanned area. And to obtain the best model, you may need to manually adjust the exposure to avoid over or under exposure, which is indicated by red or blue parts in the IR image. Move the device slowly during scanning, maintain the optimal distance as per the scan's prompt, and ensure that all parts you won't are thoroughly scanned. The software also features the optimization mode. As you can see in the video, the optimization phase is utilizing the full capacity of the CPU and approximately 30% of the GPU. You can export your scans in formats such as OBJ, STL or PLY, making it easy to import it into your favorite 3D modeling software. And yes, it does support a color texture mode. So you can either choose to have a color map attached to your model or opt for a solid color rendering without any color data. I had one small problem with the device itself. Keeping the device in one place on the stand was a bit struggle. I tightened the screw, but it was still a bit loose. But to be completely honest, it wasn't a major concern or impact the scanning capabilities. But I wanted to be upfront and mention it, so you know that you may encounter the same problem. In conclusion, if you are in the market for a 3D scanner that balances affordability, performance and portability, the CR Scan Ferret is an excellent contender. Lightweight, powerful and packed with features, is comprehensive for both beginners and seasoned 3D scanning enthusiasts.
Thank you.